Hello everyone, uh, welcome back to the channel. See, uh, it is really amazing that uh, the students of these days, you know, they grasp things very easily. They read, they refer a lot of books and, uh, you know, they are more involved and they do more smart work rather than the hard work. Okay. And that is why, uh, you know, the standard of examination has been improved. That is why you get a lot of tough questions. And, you know, despite of those, the students, they keep getting ranks. That is the amazing thing, uh, you know, it is happening around. So what I'm trying to say this, uh, what I'm trying to say from that is, you know, people are becoming smart, which teaches you that you also should be smart in order to top the nation or to get a good rank. Okay. So plan accordingly and uh, execute that properly and have a streamlined preparation okay so in the previous videos we have talked about the uh, topics to read in anatomy the topics to be read in uh, biochemistry and today we are going to look about the topics to be read in physiology okay so physiology if you see it, it will form the base okay physiology if you read physiology the biochemistry will be interlinked and if you know the physiological aspect you can read the pathological aspect you can correlate pathological aspect and once you know the pathology, you, you will come to know how to treat it, medicine aspect and pharmacological aspect of it. And if in case surgery is needed, general surgery will be covered. So if you look at that, it is a just a chain of uh, subjects which, you know, if you read physiology, definitely at some point of time, it will be interlinked with another subject and you will feel that. Okay. So with that, we'll move to the today's video. So the topics to be read in physiology. So the first one, it's going to be the cell and the general physiology. Uh, in that the extracellular fluid, uh, the homeostatic mechanisms and the functions of the cell should be covered. <clears throat> and then the membrane potentials and the action potentials. So the resting membrane potential very important and the nerve action potential. And then the contraction and excitation of the skeletal muscles. So you should know the mechanism of the uh, muscle contraction and the excitation contraction coupling as well as the muscle action potential. Okay. And the heart, you should definitely know about the cardiac cycle and what is, uh, you know, how much second it, it takes for systole and diastoles and the heart sounds. So if you properly know the heart sounds, it will be very easy for you to correlate with the, you know, the abnormal heart sounds, the cardiac murmurs and the normal ECG, how to go about, how to interpret a normal e ECG and abnormal sinus rhythms and atrial fibrillation, atrial flutter and you know these topics will be covered in general medicine but you know you just get an idea of what is atrial fibrillation or uh, atrial flutter okay and then <clears throat> coming to the circulation uh, very important shock you should know the basic principles of circulation and also the very important shock okay the gaseous exchange takes place and coming to the kidney and the body fluids the osmotic equilibrium edema okay and the micturation reflex glomerular filtration rate urine formation acid base regulation definitely you should know all this so blood cells you should know about the rbgs wbgs and anemias which you will come across in pathology as well as in general medicine and the immunity the hypersensitivity blood groupings very important the rh blood types very important okay and coming to the respiration you should know about pulmonary ventilation, gaseous exchange, ventilation perfusion ratio, regulation of respiration and a few of pathological conditions like hypoxia, hypercapnia and uh, you know the physiology of deep sea diving. Okay. So coming to the nervous system, in the nervous system you should know about the general design of a nervous system and then the sensory pathways, the pathway of pain, touch, everything you should know about all the pathways and also the cerebral cortex, the limbic systems and the sleep waves. GIT, GIT is planktic circulations, propulsion and mixing of food and then the secretions, the salivary secretions, gastric secretions, pancreatic secretions and bile secretions and then the digestion and absorption in the GIT and a few gastric disorders. And last very important endocrinology. You should know about the hormones, the pituitary adrenocortical thyroid hormones 
and then uh, you should know very important insulin what are the functions of insulin and uh, glucagon what is glucagon what are the functions of glucagon and uh, another very important parathyroid hormones and calcitonins what is the relationship between the two and what it does and what is the effect of these on calcium metabolism and uh, the last but not least is a reproductive and hormonal functions so these are all the few very 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 important topics in physiology which you should read from the textbook okay you should have a general idea about all these so apart from that if you look at the basic guides you will be having these kind of topics that is git rs renal system muscle cvs cns hematology endocrinology and miscellaneous so if you look at the total mcq which are present here is 576 so if you look at my timetable i have framed around five to seven days for physiology so if you look at that approximately you have to read around 100 mcqs so the remaining time you have to give more importance to the textbooks all these topics okay so uh, if you want this uh, image of this just dm me to my instagram page i'll send you the image and uh, keep reading uh, avoid distractions uh, i know the devastating situation is prevailing in our nation i hope it ends soon and uh, you know the counseling is postponed but not the exams upcoming neat exams are postponed okay so the neat exams might be conduct uh, it might be conducted at normal um, dates say for example december or jan so uh, once the uh, for example if your counseling uh, ends by august you will be left around two, uh, three to four months which is very difficult if you are not in touch with the subjects so keep in touch with the subjects and if you have decided not to take seat this year then go full-fledged forget about the counseling prepare for the next year and you know you'll get the dream seat what you always wanted so thank you for watching this video we'll come up with another uh, subject and another uh, video so if you find this video helpful please share with your friends and thank you thank you for watching this video have a great day